Star Wars Outlaws is about the thriving underworld. Thieves, scoundrels, syndicates, the people who profit when the Empire isn't looking. The galaxy is full of opportunity for those who are willing to risk it all to take it. Within Outlaws, you're going to have a lot of freedom as a player. The main story is the core of the experience, but surrounding it is this vast open world where you decide where to go, what to do next, which syndicates to side with, really rolling with the punches and finding your way. Hold on, Nix! We've seen that story of empire versus rebellion. And what was interesting to us was, what's the perspective on the ground? I know, buddy. Just give me a minute. So that was really the genesis of K. Vess, this person that really is just trying to survive in the midst of this galactic war. Let's get you some food. K is from Canto Bight, but specifically the Workers' District. You're local. Yeah, but I never got to see it like this. On Canto Bight, Kay really became a skilled thief alongside Nyx. She was in her element. Nice lift, Nyx. The moment that she enters the underworld for the first time, she realizes she is a small fish in a very big galactic pond. But at the same time, she has something to offer. Ha, <laughs> look at that. Things like breaking in, stealing, slicing computer terminals, lockpicking, sabotaging, escaping, is all really at the heart of experience. Kay sees the galaxy is rigged against people like her. When that's the case, it's very hard to trust others. Who are you? Kay and Nyx may not trust anybody else, but now they're being asked to trust someone new so that they can pull off the biggest heist the galaxy has ever seen. ND5 is a BX commando droid. These were the elite fighting forces uh, for the Separatists during the Clone Wars. And ND5 finds himself carrying the scars from that battle, but wondering what is it he's supposed to be today? And that's how we meet him in Star Wars Outlaws. I'm just a battle droid. Infiltrate and terminate. Nothing else. ND5 is a veteran in the underworld. He's been around for so many years, so he understands how the syndicates work and how the Empire works, but he's lacking an awareness of humans, and that's where Kay Vess can compliment him. I don't trust anyone. Ah, not even me? Kay and ND5, they're gonna have to learn to trust one another if they're going to overcome one of the most dangerous criminal overlords in the galaxy. Star Wars definitely has some of the most iconic villains. And at first, I'll admit it, it's daunting. I think most important of all, it really came down to Kay. Who is a counterpoint to Kay? Swero is everything Kay isn't. He's rich, he knows what he wants, and he has an army behind him. His character, his personality, his backstory influence how he presents himself. It's a golden age for the underworld. We're getting an antagonist that is really giving us a window into how the underworld works and just how ruthless, just how dangerous the underworld is. Slero runs the most lethal syndicate I've ever seen and he wants you gone. Zarek Besh have taken the galaxy by storm and they're really making the other syndicates take notice. So in their design, we really got a lot of inspiration out of mercenaries. They have access to the best equipment. You don't want to be in their path. If you enter the underworld of Star Wars, you have to do justice to the syndicates. In bringing the Hut Cartel or the Pikes or the Crimson Dawn to life in a game, we need to work together with Massive to flesh them out, their outfits, their blasters, what their hideouts might look like. We've brought every one of those details to life in a way we've never done before. Star Wars Outlaws is about Kay facing off against some of the most notorious criminal syndicates in the galaxy. And one of those syndicates is Crimson Dawn, led by Kira. And if we want freedom, we have to be prepared to make some tough choices. Lady Kira, she's very elegant, she's very stylish, but very much in the shadows and we try to use that look for the design of the Crimson Dawn. 
You want to be authentic to the syndicates that fans may have seen before, but also you want to introduce new syndicates. The Ishiga clan are of the Melito species that is very hierarchical. This is a clan that really works for the collective of the hive. And they are based on the ice planet of Kijimi. Kijimi has a lot of Japanese influences. We incorporated those influences in the Ashiga clan design. For example, kimono-inspired outfits. The Milito, they're blind, so they favor textures and sound over color and light. And you will see that in all of their designs. They've embedded metallic pieces on the floor to feel where they're going. Everything they're using, including their weapons, has these tactile elements. Beyond these walls, it's war. You want to survive? Know the players. One of the things that we're incredibly proud of is the reputation system. The choices that you'll make to craft your relationship with each one of the criminal syndicates, ensuring that every story in Star Wars Outlaws is your own. Here you live and die by your reputation. The reputation system is really about opening and closing opportunities with these syndicates. This is not about allegiance with one syndicate and staying with it forever. It's about playing the underworld to your benefit. And how do I know Crimson Dawn won't burn me after I pull this off? The impact your current reputation with the syndicate will be felt in a lot of different ways. From them giving you little discounts, access to special jobs. They might let you into territory and districts you otherwise wouldn't have access to. On the flip side, if you're not in their good graces, they can actually represent active danger to you. I'm really proud of how we managed to create this enormous breadth of experience. When players play Star Wars Outlaws, they're stepping into the hive of scum and villainy. You'll be immersed in a galaxy of opportunity and danger. You can expect a lot of adventure and thrill. Living that lifestyle of a scoundrel and exploring an open world. I think fans are going to really love it. We made it, Nick.